Hi guys, it's uh, NM Kafour here and we've got the Nexus 7 tablet from Google here made by Asus. What we're going to be doing is doing a quick unboxing, just show you what's inside the box and what you get for your money. This costs around £199 in the UK and for that you get 16 gigabytes of onboard storage. So uh, pretty much standard sleeve along the outside with the Nexus 7 branding along the side. The 7 looks nice and glossy there with the rest of the, the box being a matte finish. And along the back it just lets you know it's made by Google, obviously. Uh, first uh, Android uh, 4.1 tablet, and it's purely made by Google. Uh, you've got the various uh, patents that uh, it owns there along the bottom. Zeus made, as I said. Along the bottom, you've got serial numbers and whatnot, so we'll leave those there. Uh, we'll just open up the sleeving. Turn that along the back, I think it'll be easier. There we go. Very tight sleeving. There we go, so we'll get rid of that, don't need that. Right, uh, as along the back it just says Asus Computer International, obviously made by Asus Tech Computer Inc. And complete black box, as I say, serial numbers and one along the bottom, just a Nexus branding there. You've got the two black tapes there, we'll just open those up. There we go, just open those up. Just slide that open, see what you get. Nothing in the back of the box, so we'll get rid of that. You got the tablet itself. Lift that up with the arrow. It comes in a nice sleeve, so it's well protected. We'll put that down for a second. Let's see what comes out of the box. Pretty much nothing else in there. That just looks empty. Yep, pretty much that's empty as well. So let's have a look what you get out of the box here. Nice little box packaged in there. Barcode labelling along the side. So we'll get rid of the boarding stuff first. So we've got a uh, Nexus 7 warranty information there. You can read that, keep that for future reference. Uh, what we've got here Google Nexus Quick Start Guide. Pretty much what you get out of the box with it charging, quick start, that kind of stuff. I'll obviously keep that for reference as well just leave that there for the time being see what else we've got you've got the USB 2.0 port there to the micro USB cable there and you've got the Zeus branding on the USB there so leave that there as well uh, you've got the 3 pin you've got the 3 pin UK plug here along with there should be a connector that fits in there would have thought so we'll open that up see if there's anything in there yep so nothing nothing else in there so we'll get rid of that as well so we've got looks like a European plug there and that fits into there we go fits into the UK one with uh, the USB port along the back which goes obviously that goes into and the other side goes into the tablet right now that's looking at everything that's came with it now for the PS or the, the resistance the actual tablet itself so if we just stick down Ooh, get rid of the package in there. The back is very nice. It's very grippy and leather-esque. Let me see if I can bring that in so you can see a little bit of the texture, texture even. Hopefully you can see the texture. It's very leather-esque if it's not leather, which I like because it's very grippy then. I like the way it's, I can get it in my hand, pretty much. It's not, it's not too big. If we have a look at the front, where it's got the gorgeous 7 inch HD screen which has a support a resolution of 1280 by 800 and obviously it's a, you can see the camera there it's a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera there's no back back facing camera on this it's very light it should weigh uh, approximately according to Google about 340 grams and uh, it's got inbuilt battery of uh, 4325 milliamp hours so it should give you hours of reading uh, if you use this for reading it should be about 10 10 hours or so reading or so with 300 hours of standby time now if you have a look at the take a tour around the side of it you've got the power button you've got the volume up and down buttons there you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack along the bottom same side as the micro usb port 
and you've got pretty much nothing else. Uh, you've got uh, 16 gig of onboard storage uh, in terms of storing files, movies, music, games, stuff like that inbuilt into this. This is a 16 gig model, not the 8. It's got 1 gigabytes of uh, RAM on board. Obviously, it's got in terms of the CPU, it's got a quad core Tegra 3 processor. Uh, and in terms of size, uh, as I mentioned, it's 7 inches there with a thickness of 10.5 millimeters. So it's not very thick at all. Uh, in fact, if I bring my Galaxy S3 into this, you can see side by side, it's not too fat at all, to be fair. It's very, just ever so slightly fatter. But that's with the Galaxy S3. Uh, obviously, connectivity in terms of this, it's uh, Wi Fi, all the Wi Fi standards, BG and N, uh, Bluetooth compatibility there. And obviously, this should be running Android Gingerbread, uh, beg your pardon, Android Jelly Bean 4.1. And obviously it's going to incorporate uh, near-field communication technology in this along with the uh, GPS and gyroscopes and all that good stuff. So what we'll do is just switch it on. Ooh. Google branding there. First time we're switching on, now the Nexus branding. First time this is uh, switching on, so this may take, uh, to take us through the first setup wizard. Okay, so here we go. Welcome. You got the Nexus branding along the back. Uh, we're not in the United States, so what we're going to do is go down to the UK, hit play. It's in uh, the wireless network, so I'm just going to tap it to connect to it. You can see it's picked up a. There you go, it's just connecting to the wireless. It's going straight into a uh, Google email account. So, yes, we have. I'm just going to type that in. Now signing into the emails. So I'm not going to back up and restore this, so we'll just go through the next wizard. Location services, just say no. Just a second deed. Setup complete, awesome. That didn't take too long at all, did it? So the wizard, just telling us what we've got there. You can turn that off from, that's what you bought through uh, Google Play Store. Go into the apps. Tutorial comes up. I like that a lot. Moves really quick, so which is the project butter coming in there. The on display buttons there, no fixed buttons on the screen. Go to settings, then go down to about, and then show you. There we go. Yeah, it's got model number Nexus 7, Android version 4.1. It's very smooth so far. It comes with half a battery already charged in it, which is pretty good. Uh, can, so you can get it out of the box and play with it straight away. And it should. my emails in there so if I go in there you go it's all synced up which is pretty cool and it's ready to rock so I'm just gonna have a play around with this I'm well pleased with the purchase itself just press the power button to set it to sleep again I, I really do like the leather back I think that's really cool and that's uh, the Google Nexus 7 tablet unboxing and quick setup there any questions or comments that you guys have got Hit them up in the comment section below there. Hit subscribe from the button up top there. It doesn't cost you anything and it's free. And you can check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And we'll see you in the next one.